Wake up and smell the coffee, because it, along with other commodities, has performed particularly well in the first half of this year. So what's behind the rally? We did have some unusual events at the beginning of the year, which especially affected South America and also in the US. We had very cold winter in the, in the US. We had some very dry conditions in, in South America. That, uh, that helped the uh, a strong rally in, in especially something like coffee in, in Brazil, which rallied by more than 50%. In the US, we saw a spike in natural gas prices. We saw, saw uh, meat prices started to go up as well. So really, the agricultural sector has been the main provider of this uh, positive return. And, the question is now, obviously, will that last into the second half? Industrial metals may not have shone, but precious metals have, thanks in part to geopolitical events and bonds. We had Ukraine uh, during the first uh, first quarter, and now in towards the, the summer and uh, into the second half, we saw the, the uprising in, in Iraq. These are adding some uh, safe haven support to gold, but I think at the same time, also very important is that the, uh, the trajectory of, of bond deals have not really gone in the, the direction that the investors have, were uh, generally believing at the beginning of the year. Instead of going higher, we actually seen bond deals come down during the past uh, past couple of quarters, and that's really uh, has removed some of this uh, and uh, this resistance towards gold and has helped support the price. And events in Iraq, along with limited supplies of oil coming out of Libya, have resulted in a price hike in crude. So will it last? As we move into the deeper into the second half, some of this peak summer demand that we're currently seeing will start to fade and that, that probably should have a, have a negative impact on prices. So, so unless we see an escalation in Iraq, I would see prices start to fade and start to drift lower as we move into the second half. While investors are already getting back into the commodity markets, Ola Hansen says they're being much more selective. If you look across the different sectors, agricultural sector is probably not the best place at the moment from an investment point of view. We've got ample supplies. Energy markets is, is, uh, is, is more attractive. We have high prices now. There is a risk of a correction, but that correction is, is probably going to be relatively small. And if you look at the, the structure of the, the, the oil market at the moment, just just sitting on a, on a position which doesn't move or a price that doesn't change, you'll actually pick up uh, something like 5 6% over the coming year just, just with, a, with no change in price, something to do with the structure of the, of the forward curve. So that's interesting from a long-term investor.